back to the Ranton Review Pro Wrestling, and we're going to be talking today about the unfortunate passing of Jay Briscoe this past week, and then something that was rather unfortunate uh, going on with AEW in particular, not less AEW and more uh, Warner Brothers Discovery as a result of that on this past week's episode of AEW Dynamite. And let's dive right into it. Um, of course, many of you know, and pretty much anybody who's watching this video obviously knows that Jay Briscoe, uh, celebrated tag team wrestler, celebrated wrestler in general, two-time former Ring of Honor world champion. I think they, him and his brother held the Ring of Honor tag titles 13 times. They've had tremendous matches over the years. Of course, most recently their series with FTR over the Ring of Honor tag team championships in the revitalized new version of Ring of Honor, uh, last year was probably one of the best tag team rivalries of the last five to 10 years. Uh, unfortunately, he did pass away earlier this week in a car accident in Delaware and uh, him and other passengers in that uh, car crash did pass away. Obviously, uh, this being a wrestling channel, we are going to talk about Jay Briscoe and, you know, the guy, as we saw on Twitter, as we saw on social media, a lot of people in the industry really appreciated the guy a lot of fans appreciated the guy had a lot of wonderful things to say about him uh as a result of his passing and this is one of those times where fortunately you even see wwe people it was mentioned on nxt on tuesday night when it happened uh they did mention it and pay tribute to jay uh, aew did on dynamite as well uh everyone from triple h to Sami Zayn, to Tony Khan, of course, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, and on and on and on have uh, given their words and their thoughts and their prayers to uh, Jay's family, his brother, obviously, and everybody else involved with uh, who lost their lives in that accident. Jay Briscoe is a unique person in the wrestling world. He's one of, again, I always talk about people being big stars without the WWE machine and the Briscoe brothers have been able and were able to achieve that in the wrestling industry. They were named stars that pretty much most wrestling fans, again, wrestling fans, not sports entertainment fans, pro wrestling fans knew who the Briscoe brothers, of course, they're, you know, they have the Briscoe brothers name spelled slightly different than the other legendary Briscoe Brothers tag team uh, from out of the seven, for the I believe the 70s and the 80s, and uh, but the, this my, this version of the Briscoe Brothers tag team, but these Briscoe Brothers also I would say are probably about as much as the original Jack and Jerry Briscoe tag team established themselves as a tag team in a legendary tag team that are going to go down in the history of pro wrestling as a genre as one of the best of all time. Uh, so any team that's come, you know, I, I don't know. And I, I would hope that any team that comes along and tries to call themselves Briscoe Brothers, you've got two teams, two now legendary teams that those are pretty big shoes to fill. And, you know, and Jay Briscoe and his brother, they kind of knew that when they were going into this and they did the work to fill the shoes of, of carrying, of being called the Briscoe Brothers in an industry where that name was already established as a legendary tag team. So again, I'm going to give my thoughts and prayers to the family of Jay Briscoe and the family, of course, of everyone else who was involved in that unfortunate auto accident on Tuesday. Uh, the other side of this that's uh, not as sad, but is just kind of irritating is the decision by Warner Brothers Discovery to block All Elite Wrestling from doing any kind of a pro profound tribute to Jay Briscoe on AEW Dynamite. Now, the reason for that is because back in 2013, Jay Briscoe on social media had some rather, I mean, they, these aren't politically incorrect. They were just straight up, just terrible comments about the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, now to be, and it was, just, it was several posts he made that were not good at all it's not sugar-coated they were pretty bad since that time over the last really nine to ten years since again that was ten years ago he has apologized he and his brother have talked about it ad nauseum and apology after apology explaining her position and anybody who's seen that part of that knows very full well that jay's attitude his tune has changed he thought he was you know he was a christian man he thought he was defending his religion um but he also as, as sometimes happens with a lot of people who are in these ideologies and groups, you kind of forget the basic tenet of your group because there's a supposedly opposition group to it. But as he and his brother pointed out, 
Christians, as Christians, as Christ did, he loved everybody. So there was no reason for the hate towards a community of people because the ideology they're following teaches them to love their neighbor. So Jay did come around on that and did grow and did change and did understand where he was wrong with the comments he made in 2013. And this is where we get into things and I'm going to get a little political about this. I do apologize. I try to stay away from this stuff on the channel because uh, you guys don't need to be swayed. I don't want to sway anybody with my own political belief system. Uh, you guys make up your minds for yourselves. I say that about wrestling. I certainly would want you to do that with uh, things like social issues and politics. But I, uh, for many of you probably know and probably can tell that I'm pretty much an independent. I'm not left wing, right wing, Democrat, Republican, or any of that stuff. I'm more what I call just common sense. I don't ascribe to any gang or ideology. Um, there, there are good points and bad points about all of them. But I think that this current stuff with the wokeism nonsense has gotten out of control. And this is clearly what's going on with this w, uh, WBD, Warner Brothers Discovery decision. They did not want the Briscoes on, in AEW. It's part of the reason why they were never brought into AEW. Uh, it's part of the reason why even when they were part of the merger, I guess, there's really, not really a merger, but when Tony Khan bought Ring of Honor and they were promoting FTR's feud with the Briscoes, it was kept separate from anything that aired on uh, TBS or TNT. It was somewhat mentioned here and there in very, very sparse ways. But they, Warner Brothers Discovery did not want anything to do with the Briscoe Brothers on their networks because of their ideology. Again, regardless of the fact that, the, that you know, Jay Briscoe for the last 10 years apologized and not only apologized, he's actually, when you can consider a lot of public figures who have said things in the past that were not good, not cool, he actually has shown over the years that he understands why it wasn't good and changed his position, but that's not good enough. If you find something that somebody said 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I mean, I'd hate for some of these people to think about anything that Eminem said in, in the Marshall Matters LP, which I listened to actually funny enough two, two days ago, and I'm listening, which is one of the greatest rap albums of all time, but I'm listening to it and going, I, how is Eminem not canceled? Because this album would not fly at all today. But that's neither here nor there. In the case we're talking about, Jay Briscoe was not forgiven by the um, powers that be at Warner Brothers Discovery. And this is this is something that I really have thought about for a long time. And I've said it's, it's interesting that the pro wrestling industry, I think you might be seeing one of the first signs of what I have thought eventually was going to happen with all of this woke stuff is that eventually at some point in time, they're going to try to cancel somebody or do something or react to something that the, the majority of the public is going to go. And that's a little bit too far. You've gone too far now. And from the responses I've seen, most of the wrestling industry, again, you know, obviously there's some people who still hate Jay Briscoe because of what he said, you know, back in 10 years ago. But again, most other people I saw on the Steve, uh, with Steve Larson show, they were talking about this too. Um, a lot of people have accepted Jay's apology. He's apologized for 10 years and turned around. Uh, they accept it. And to point out what they, what uh, Steve Larson said, they, they said the same thing that I was thinking when I heard about it. It's like, yeah, but isn't that what you would want to show? Somebody did say something very heinous 10 years ago and they turned it around and they're less hateful than they were 10 years ago. And, you know, to the fact that the Briscoe said that they don't hate anybody, everybody, they were misguided in what they thought they were doing as far as defending and standing up for things and they changed their tune. That's what you would want to show that you can change your tune and not have such hateful things or hateful ideas for other groups of people or people who are in this ideology or in that group or this group over here or that group over there. The irony of this though, is that Warner Brothers Discovery in doing this shows that they actually don't have that. You know, the Briscoe brothers were country boys from Delaware, chicken farmers, you know, they were, you know, I think people would consider them white trash and to be quite honest about, it, and they they lived it up they love they they are were who they were 
And there's nothing wrong with being who the Briscoe brothers were or anybody, any of the 30, 40, 50 million people in the country who are like the Briscoe brothers. There's nothing wrong with being country boys and doing that kind of stuff. There is something wrong with hating other groups of people. But here now, again, like I said, you're seeing Warner Brothers Discovery because they are those kind of characters. We don't want anything to do with them. And they said something bad. So they are ostracized forever, despite what they do. It's iron. The, the irony there is it's it's well, it's obvious to you guys out there, the irony. And yeah, you know, if this offends some of you out there, I know this is going to offend some people because there are a lot of people out there who live and die and breathe by wokeism or their ideology or being whatever it is that you think you're doing. Um, I personally don't like wokeism because I'm a civil rights guy. My family, I grew up learning about the civil rights movement. My family was involved in a lot of stuff. So I know what the civil rights movement was and what i see wokeism as being is a mockery of the civil rights movement it actually takes a lot of the language from the civil rights movement and uses it but what the the woke movement is doing is actually the opposite of what the civil rights movement was which was about not judging people by what group they're in but by judging them by the content of their character as we just recently celebrated the uh Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and which was part of his famous speech. And yes, we judge Jay Briscoe by his character and what he said 10 years ago. Yeah, that was bad. But in the 10 years since, he has changed. His character has evolved. He showed he had better character because that is a hard thing. It's easy for a lot of people to point fingers at somebody who does something wrong and say, you did something wrong, you should be banished. It's really hard to be somebody who does that and says something wrong and does demonize people online and then realizes their mistakes and then goes about correcting their mistakes. I far more respect Jay Briscoe for making, for saying something very terrible and hateful and bad and then correcting it and evolving as a person over the course of the last 10 years than I do from Warner Brothers Discovery, just blatantly just slapping the guy off because he said things 10 years ago. Doesn't matter if he apologized, doesn't matter if he learned, doesn't matter if he got better. And plus he's what they would consider white trash. So we not gonna let AEW do any kind of tribute to him. The, the clock is ticking on the wokeism stuff. I don't think it's, I think we're, Again, this is an example of why I think its its days are numbered uh, in the public sphere. But it's going to be it's going to be a while. But I think its days are numbered. And I would like to go back to the more civil rights movement kind of idea of justice, uh, of social justice, not the woke version of social justice. I want the civil rights movement version of social justice. I want the civil rights movement of equality, not equity. I could get into this all day long. It's a topic that I talk about. I don't talk about here in the wrestling space because it doesn't belong here, but I just wanted to mention that. Um, now, as far as any tributes to Jay Briscoe, there will be a tribute show on the first, I believe it's going to be the first episode of the new Ring of Honor show that's going to be on Honor Club. I know they're also doing one on the YouTube channel. There will be a tribute show. I think they filmed it uh, the other day where they're going to be doing a full tribute to Jay Briscoe uh, for Ring of Honor and you know i was also thinking that maybe there might be a tribute tournament a tag team tournament in the future uh i would love to see a jay briscoe memorial cup kind of tag team tournament the same way that the, there was a jim crockett senior memorial cup tag team tournament back in the day uh nxt did the dusty Rhodes cup uh, a couple years ago in nxt i wouldn't be surprised if in ring of honor we wind up seeing a ring of honor a, a jay briscoe tag team memorial cup in ring of honor over the next 12 months probably and i'm sure tony khan has probably already thought about that and might be even planning it as we speak so uh those are my thoughts on uh the unfortunate passing of jay briscoe and the unfortunate decision of warner brothers discovery uh to keep aew from properly paying tribute to him uh on their show and that's just the way it is if you can't and i'm just going to end with this again if you can only look at somebody's mistakes or the things that they do wrong and hold them to that for their entire life even into their death and you're going to ignore everything that they did positive and even in correcting things that they know that they were wrong about what are we doing here what is the point of your ideology of your moral stance if you can't accept people getting better because that's what we want or is it what you want is that what you want for people to get better 
or is it what you really want to be able to point at people and make yourself look virtuous by condemning other people regardless of whether or not they are better or correct their mistakes i'll let you guys decide that let your voice be heard in the comment box below until next time i will see you guys here for more news rumors and commentary on the rant and review pro wrestling have a good day